All right, hi everyone, and we are back in the studio. As you can see, I have a little book in front of me, and I figured we'd read a fable today. Um, this is a book of favorite fables, and uh, it is pretty great. Fables are really great for teaching us something. So let's see what this fable is going to teach us today. So this story is called The Lion and the Rat. The Lion and the Rat. And I think it's a story about helpfulness. Let's see. One day, a rat. That's how the story starts. Walked by accident between a lion's paws. Here's the rat. And here is the lion. So big. I wonder what the rat was thinking right now. He's probably really scared. But the lion allowed him to escape unharmed. The rat thanked the lion and said, One day I shall repay you for your kindness. The lion laughed to himself. How could such a tiny creature help me, the lord of the jungle, he thought. Here's the rat. Skipping away. A few months later, the lion was out hunting in the forest when he fell into a trap. He fell into a trap. He roared in fury and struggled with all of his might. But is he able to get out? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. But he could not escape. That is sad. The lion asked, each of them in turn for help. But they said, How can weak creatures like us help you, the lord of the jungle? These are other animals, and they're, they're not as strong as the lion. And so they're saying, How can we help you? If you can't get out of that, that net, well, how, how can we get out? How can we help you? I don't think they even tried. Hmm. Were they being very good friends? Not even trying? I don't think so. And so they went away. They're going away. They're leaving him. Just then, the rat came by. He saw the lion in trouble and ran to help him. Did he even stop and think about it? No, he went whoosh, straight for his friend. What's he going to do? What does it look like? How is he going to help? He's such a, a small little rat. Hmm. He gnawed and gnawed right through the net until at last the lion was freed. Ha! Huh. Look at that. And so the little rat, by patience and hard work, was able to do what the lion, in all of his strength and rage, could not. And the lion was free. And here he is with his little friend. And that is the end of the story. And here's the little rat going away. Well, that's really neat. You know, I think the, the real uh, lesson in this story is on the, almost the second last page. Here it says in big letters, and usually when they make uh, words a little bit bigger, you should pay attention to them. And here it says, the little rat using patience and hard work. So here on one side you have patience and hard work, which is going to solve the problem. And over here, on the other side here, when the lion was caught, before he tried to get himself free using something different than patience. What was it? 
Is he being patient here? Does it look like he's being patient? No, in big letters it says he roared, but it did not help. It didn't help. Roaring didn't help. So by strength and rage, rage is a kind of anger, he did not fix the problem. But the little guy, the little tiny mouse or rat, sorry, by patience and hard work, he fixed the problem. That's great. So, boys and girls, today and every day, think about how if you have a problem, think about how patience and hard work can help you solve the problem. And remember that getting angry and roaring will not. All right, I hope you guys like that story. That is a fable, a beautiful fable, from a book called Favorite Fables by Brian Wildsmith. Hope you liked it, and we'll see you next time.